in your life, what are the crystal balls and what are the rubber balls? And how do you know the difference? Friends, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I've let the social media slide both on LinkedIn and on YouTube. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. First, I want to, as, as is my want, I will give you a metaphor. I did one deployment to Iraq and I went over there to be a fires advisor. I went over there to teach the Iraqi army how to shoot artillery. When I got there, I realized a couple of things. First of all, the Iraqi army unit that I was assigned to didn't have any artillery. They had mortars, so I had to figure out the mortar game. And then the other thing was they already had a bunch of artillery officers there on the training team. So my team chief said, hey, Al, what I really need is not a fires officer. I need a logistics officer. So your boy became the logistics officer for the team. I became in charge of such sexy and exciting things as supply of the food for the team, ammunition, maintenance, motor transport, uh, tearing down the cop, all sorts of things. Anyway, neither here nor there, but we would have these staff meetings. And I would come into staff meetings and I would have a sheaf of papers, as I tend to do. And I had notes all over the papers and I would give these briefs and we were teaching these classes to the Iraqi soldiers on map reading and fire direction control. I was, uh, you know, I was briefing on the next resupply and when it was the next time we were going on a convoy. And, and I just had 10 million things going on. And you could see that I was getting a bit frazzled. At one point he said to me, Al... You've got crystal balls and you've got rubber balls. Do you know what I mean by that? I could kind of figure it out, but I let him explain anyway because he wanted to. He said, you're juggling. You're juggling all of these things. You've got all these things going on. And a master juggler can sit there and they can juggle like a bowling ball and a bunch of golf balls and adjust to the weight and the importance of them. And if you're juggling crystal balls and rubber balls, there are some you can drop and there are some you can't. If you let that rubber ball drop, it's going to hit the ground, it's going to bounce back up, and you can just pick it back up and keep going. If you let that crystal ball drop, it's going to be a bad time for you. Last two weeks I spent overseas. I went and I worked in Sydney for about a week, and then I worked in Singapore for about a week. And it was great. And I adjusted fairly well. I didn't used to deal with travel well, with the sleeping and all of that, and jet lag. I did pretty well this time, both going out there and coming back. I had all these grand plans going out, one of which was I was going to keep this daily YouTube thing going. Failed miserably at that. Matter of fact, I failed before I even left because the week before I left, I let this drop in order to get stuff ready to go. And Going out there, I have this morning routine that I like to adhere to. I wanted to read daily. I did want a PT. We let the 75 hard thing slide, but there were a lot of goals that I had, and I didn't hit all of them. I didn't do the things every day that I wanted to do. There were days that I didn't exercise, and I prioritized work, or I just kind of took a mental day, which is a term that I hate. But... I didn't hit all of the goals that I wanted to do, and I started to let that weigh on me a little bit. I started to get down on myself. It was like, oh, I didn't hit the gym yesterday. Oh, I didn't quite eat right yesterday. And I had to realize in the aftermath that I was successful. And why was I successful? I was not perfect. I did not do everything that I intended to do, but the crystal balls did not drop. I didn't fail on the things I had to do. Every day I got to work. I taught all of my classes successfully. There were a lot of learning points. Even the teaching was not 100% perfect. It's not where I want it to be. We've got things to improve going forward. But those crystal balls stayed up. Did I PT every day? I did not. But I kept it going well enough that I didn't spend two weeks getting fat and decrepit and drunk and coming back just feeling like I have a ton of ground to make up. I just did a lift session pretty much where I was before I left. Did I read every day? Did I get through all the books I wanted to get to? No. Did I post on social media every day? Not even close. Didn't make one YouTube post. 
really only made like three LinkedIn posts. I mean, it's tough when you're on the other side of the world and all your contacts are sleeping while you're awake. But I did enough. And I'm going to do another video talking more about you can't fix today what you screwed up yesterday. But that's a topic for another time. The crystal walls, the things that I had to do, I did. I met all of the people. I remembered some of their names. I made new connections. I did great things. I taught people good stuff, useful knowledge that they need to know. And those were the things that I had to do. I met, I don't want to call it the minimum, but I managed to do the things that I went out there to do. I kept the, the number one thing, the number one thing. And I made sure that those crystal walls stayed in the air. A couple of rubber balls dropped. I'm picking them back up today. But my friends, if I can leave you with one lesson, you need to evaluate those things in your life. When the going gets tough, and you're jet lagged and you're overseas and you're tired and maybe you threw down a couple of gin and tonics last night and you're not feeling 100%. What are the things that you have to do? And can you prioritize, can you identify the things that must happen versus the things that should happen and be able to triage those and take care of the number one thing first and foremost? Prioritize, keep the crystal balls in the air, let the rubber balls drop when you have to. All right. Well, that's all I've got for today. Back on the horse and back on this daily YouTube channel for better or worse. I see we've hit 700 subscribers. That is wonderful. If you like this content, please let me know with a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.